All right, the last few videos have been 40 minutes, so I'll try to cut back on that. Anyway, okay, blah. okay I'll go visit him as soon as I can. Excellent. I'll let him know you're coming. Good luck out there. Anyways. Ah, oh, you're... Um... Farewell, brother. Oh, maybe that was about the whole, um... <laughs> like how they moved Carl's body over here. Turn into Mish. I heard from one of Mish's runners that that check coated bastard got thrown out of his ass. Maybe I need a shotgun to do it. There we go. You should have been with us in our glory days. You'd have loved it. I bet. You gonna? Um, yeah, I'm not cleaning that up. Sorry, I was just kind of screwing around there. So, all right, so we got one of the tribes down. I think that leaves, what is it, like five? No, four more, I believe. Let's see. Formius man, you convinced the Great Khan to leave the Mojave. you got to make contact with the Brotherhood, the White Glove Society. Yeah, that's it, the White Glove Society. Okay, and now we've still got to work with the Omeritas. I think I'll do the White Gloves and Omeritas back to back. And so we've got the Brotherhood of Steel. Which I'm actually going to take Veronica along for their tidbits because she makes it a bit easier for me. So, um, I'm actually going to keep Cass along. Might as well. Yeah, so Cass and Rex will stick around. Because I don't see the point of putting Cass up, getting Veronica, and then putting Veronica back up and then getting Cass. So let's go pay. Whoa, what the hell? Uh, 188. There we are. Oh, Lady B. What's up? Oh, you look different. I think we should travel together. Let's go make trouble. Make it double. See you around. Yeah, I think I like that get up better than her old one. Well, as far as her hair goes, anyways. Alright, to the Hidden Valley we go. Woo! Ow, more of those things. More insects. Anyways, where's the bunker? Way back, no, it's back this way, that's right. Or, anyways, having Veronica is supposed to make it easier. Now, this is be the first time I've actually brought her for this bit. Um, how much the damn thing at? Oh, yeah, pfft, no, just follow the dang marker icons. And I'm heading away from it. Okay, here's the bunker, this little hill here. You hear nothing. Hello? You hear nothing. All right. I don't know to read out two nine or zero two nine one. Okay. 
Okay, maybe this was the wrong one. Yeah, because it's not indicating it. What the hell? Well, no, that has to be it. No, let me just go into the readout. Yeah, this is definitely not it. Well, let's wait until damn daybreak. Oh wait, no, don't I have to go ways down a bit? Maybe? Maybe. That might be a possibility. All this traveling. Problem is, I don't remember all this stuff. Let's kick this in gear. That how you play, huh? Yeah, this... I don't think this is where we need to be. Open door requires key. This is yeah. This, there's no way this is it. I don't buy it for a minute. Scorpion Gulch, Neil Shack. I mean, I'm 90% certain this is the right area. That's just the wrong bunker. Is this it? And the bomb. Here we go. Maybe. Yes, this is it. Finally. Hold on. I've got this. You got this? All right. I'd like a large atomic shake and a double Brahmin burger. And easy on the agave sauce this time. We gave you a password, Veronica. It's for your safety. 
I know where you live, Ramos. Open up. <sighs> For Pete's sake. Opening up. Welcome back, Veronica. What's up? Um... He was dead when I got there. What? <laughs> so, let's see... What do you think of the NCR? Oh yeah, she doesn't like the NCR. Any thoughts on Caesar's Legion? Silliest dress band of raping, slaving marauders you'll see east of California. I'll say that. Where's that touch of old world class? Although, I hear the soldiers mount each other as much as they mount their women, so maybe they did keep a little something from the Empire. <laughs> no such privilege for the women, though. Figures. So, to answer your question, they're a bunch of hypocritical jerkwats. It's a word. Huh. Okay. Tell me about yourself. I like long walks in the desert and candlelit metal workshops. What are your goals? I want... a dress. Ooh, I got one for you. A dress. Yeah, a good one. Something elegant and classy, you know? But still stylish. Something that's eye-catching and sexy, but also says, don't fuck with me. Oh, I got just I keep the one. hoping I'll come across some old-world designer gown when I'm scavenging, but it never happens. Maybe I should move back to California. Maybe. Hey, you try getting a date wearing scribe robes. Might as well be wearing sweatpants. I just like them, you know? They make you feel like a woman. Those ladies before the war, they knew what they were doing. Can I make it up? Maybe. Who was this Father Elijah to you? I would say he was my tutor, but that doesn't cover it. After my parents passed, he looked after me. The whole brotherhood brought me up, really, but he made sure of it. I never had a grandfather, not that I knew, anyway. But Elijah was in some ways what I'd imagined a grandfather to be. And until he became a psychopath obsessed with a dang thingy. Where is he now? I don't know. Last time anyone saw him was in the battle at Helios 1. I wasn't there. He's dead. He gave orders to hold the plant until he could be reactivated. But he ran out of time. The NCR overran it. Everyone thought he was dead. But I got a note from him at a comm station. That's how he liked to talk, even to me. He wasn't good at face-to-face. -face. <laughs> I'll tell you that, or I can actually attest to that. What was in the note? It was... strange. Even for Father Elijah. He's always been unstable, but this was... something else. I don't want to say delusional, but I don't know what else to call it. The only thing familiar about it was the signature. He said the Brotherhood was doomed, but that he'd return, save us. But the way he said it... I don't know. Said he'd return with one of the greatest treasures of the old world. Make the Mojave like it was meant to be. Wipe the slate clean. Um... Are you close? Yeah. I miss him. No, oh, I still don't feel bad for killing him. It was by his request, actually. He cleared it with the other elders. Somehow. They sent him to look into the dam. There was a time when I'd have begged to follow. Watch him at work. What changed? He did. For years, he fought with the Council. Taught me to question our direction. Meanwhile, he'd become more out of touch than all of them. On our way east, he demanded we stop at Helios 1 to examine it. While we were there, we received word that the NCR had taken the dam. He was furious. Called it children playing with a bomb. But he was mad because we'd lost his power. What we'd use it for. He didn't even care. Um, how's that different from any elder would have reacted? They're cautious. When they discover something, they respect it, learn its limits, consider how to preserve it used to drive Father Elijah crazy. He liked to learn limits too, but only so he could push them. Uh. That's not to excuse the other elders, though. They all covet technology for its own sake. Some are just more fanatical than others. True story. Ever tried talking sense into him? Yeah, I did. I couldn't help him. He just didn't listen. And the idea that people talk back to him... <sighs> if he could have made the Brotherhood act like machines, ordering them around with the push of a button, he would have. What did you learn from him? Elijah could look at an old device and immediately understand what made it work. And he could see its potential, where it fit with other technology. It's not something he could teach, but he tried with me. Some of it stuck. But that's what he taught me. You ask what I learned from him. 
Um, how is that different? What did you learn from him? I learned what I don't want to become. Hmm. In the end, there was just him and his vision. Nothing and no one else. Um, I found Elijah. You did? Where? Oh my god, I mean, uh, I, I thought... I don't even know what I thought might have happened to him. He's dead. But you don't have a this is good news expression on your face. I had to kill him before he hurt others. You killed him? But it doesn't matter. He died when we all retreated to Hidden Valley. I didn't expect to see him again. No one did. Did he say anything when you met him? Anything? Anything at all? He was batshit there's something I wanted to pass along. Where did you get this? It's terminal. Because I was right about the bad news, huh? Same look Elder McNamara always gave me when I was up for promotion. Um. Can you unlock it for me first? He was big on that point. Yeah. Yeah. Thought as much. He'd been fading away for a long time. Would you mind if I looked at the message? Ah. Here you go. Yes, it was interested. Yes, it was interested in me, not you. Here you go. That was... That was hard to watch. Did it make any sense? The parts I understood? Didn't matter. Past all the garbage, all it amounted to was goodbye. Sorry. Feel a little out of it. Head spinning a bit. Oh. Oh! I think he left me a gift. Maybe I can use it better than he did. Rock has received Elijah's last words, Perk. She has learned a secret melee weapon technique and increased her attack speed by 100. Jesus! Wow! Okay, she's rigamortis now. Okay, never mind. See you around. Alright, so she's still with the. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say, don't tell me she just said, no, fuck you, you killed Elijah, Rar. But yeah, I think she's just more like, oh, he's dead. Well. No, he really died at Helios 1. So, she recognizes he was beginning to go batshit. Hi there. Listen up. I'm in charge of security around here. And I can't say I'm too happy about having an outsider waltzing around. But since you came in with Veronica, I'm inclined to cut you a little slack. Just behave yourself, and we won't have any problems, okay? Sure oh, thing. And the Elder's going to want to talk to you. He's on the second level. Just take a right once you get down there. My office is right here in case you need anything. Just ask for Ramos. Will do. Brother, who's a steel pallet? Morning. morning. Top of the morning to you. Okay, quests. Oh god, I remember this I damn see. room. Howdy there, Elder. When Paladin Ramos informed me that Veronica was approaching with an outsider in tow, at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of use to me right now. Oh really? However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here. Though you'd remain Veronica's responsibility. What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? Ah, sure. Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit, with you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. Surely you have people better suited. Sure. I'm glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them, but their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Should our worst fears become realized, please bring back all three of the holotapes from the patrols. Otherwise, bring our brothers home. 
I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, but hopefully some of what's available will prove useful to you. Now, if you come in here without Veronica, these guys are dicks to you. I mean, they straight up slap a collar on you and tell you, all right, you'll prove your worth to us. You know, you came down here, now prove your worth to us. Otherwise, I'm going to blow this dang uh, thing on your neck. Hey, where's the second in command at? Although I think if I... So. Oh, there he is. You're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter, and I think we might be able to help each other out. I don't know what the Elder talked to you about, but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble. And he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? Um, why should I trust you? Why should you trust the Elder? Eh, fair point. I'd recommend listening to both of us and choosing whom to trust for yourself. So are you willing to listen? Fine. As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years. And those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by. And many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations. And all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new Elder is installed. What about Veronica? She seems to come and go as she pleases. Veronica's a special case. She handles the procurement of supplies. If we didn't let her and those like her back in, we'd all starve. If the Elder could manage it, he'd shut them out as well. And all in the name of security. Which is why we need to replace him. Um, how do you propose we do that? I don't know. I've gone through our records dozens of times looking for a precedent regarding the dismissal of an elder and come up with nothing. The people who are most likely to know how it could be done are also some of McNamara's strongest supporters. So they refuse to help me, which is why we're having this conversation. An outsider such as yourself would arouse less suspicion asking questions about such matters. The fact that the elder has some tasks for you means his faithful won't suspect you and you have a line open to the man himself. In short, you're in a perfect position to help me. Will you at least think about it? Um, what do I get out of it? If I become Elder, the lockdown will be lifted, and we'll once again be able to send patrols out into the wastes. We'll become powerful again. Uh-huh. And when that happens, it will be good to have the Brotherhood as an ally. Good enough? Mm, maybe. That'll have to do. I'd recommend going to see Ramos first. As head of security, he's more familiar with our protocols than anyone else here. You could also try to find something relevant in our data store, though last I heard Scribe Ibsen is having a bit of a problem accessing it. And if McNamara should give you any tasks, I'd ask that you kept me abreast of them. Report anything you find to me, and we'll move from there. Now, I believe Veronica is supposed to have... Pardon? Veronica. Veronica. What's up? Um. Uh, never mind. Darn that. it! I had some spectacular answers coming too. Never mind. Talk to. Whoa! Why are you leaning in all of a sudden? Ah! <laughs> um. Ask him then. I'm guessing I can't get you any good in a fight. Is whiskey your drink of choice? Not sure if I chose it or it chose me. Dad ran a bar a long time ago and it was a labor of love, Mom said. Didn't sound like it made her happy. Still, I'm guessing I got some of Dad's love of whiskey in me because the burn suits me fine. He used to call me Whiskey Rose back west. Before I punched enough people, so now they say it, but quiet, and when I'm not around. Hmm. Whiskey Rose? Yeah, on account of my name. And the blossoms on my cheeks when I drink too much. Won most of those fights, too. Can take a hell of a punch and give it right back when I've got a bottle in me. It's all in how you drink it, though. There's a trick to it. When we pass the bottle, I'll show you how it's done. Ooh. 
Where do you usually go to drink? There's usually a bar in every stop along the road. Helps me sleep. Well, not really, but I tell myself that. <laughs> Sometimes I have to brew it myself if I'm too far from a bar. Not quality, but I'm for anything that takes the edge off the day. Wait, you can make moonshine? Yeah. What else are you going to do with an empty bottle? Wait for it to refill itself? Get me some ingredients out of the Mojave, an empty bottle, a little time, and I'll keep us stocked. Nice! So, and a pigeon battery next time, maybe. You want to get in a fight? I'm fair with chucking dynamite, not bad with a pistol, if I do say so myself. Carry a knife, too, but that's more for practical reasons. Prefer settling things with my fists, though. Made more friends than corpses in bar fights. Plan on keeping it that way. Don't think I'm some kind of Vault City pacifist, though. If things get heated, I'll start shooting. Trust me. Um. Never mind. Just gonna see if I can change her tag, so I guess not. Where's that scribe? What's his face? Oh, never mind. Let's just go ahead and find the hollow tapes first, I suppose. Now, with the Brotherhood, they actually have quite a few things for you to do, so we'll. Actually, I could probably get them done. It doesn't. No, I don't know. They're more involved in the. Um, not the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, I keep talking about the Brotherhood of Steel. They're more involving than the. Uh, oh, the Great Cons. Look at the Brotherhood's history files. Find the missing Brotherhood Patrol. Help him find a way to help him from a position. After talking to Senior Power and Ramos and Harden's behalf, look at the Brotherhood's history files to make those being dismissed from his positions. The hell is the entrance? Don't work too hard there, Ibsen. Oh, is it here? No, that's inaccessible. Ah, here we go. We gotta go near Ranger Morales' corpse again. Oh, they're in the Ravcon HQ, which is right over here. Hi there. Welcome to Repcon Headquarters, Rocketeer. Come all this way to see our little facility, have you? I'm here to answer any and all questions you may have, within specified parameters. And if you'd like, I can provide a tour of our museum. Eh, uh, never mind. Good. Yep, see you. Well, let's see what's in that safe. Oh, it's already unlocked. Whoa, 
Hi there, Rex. Ah, damn it. Oh, they're back that way. Unauthorized facial pattern. Second floor access restricted to registered employees. Intelligence 7, 4F76, blah, blah, blah. Override accepted. <laughs> How the hell did you know that? Down here, aren't they? Oh no, they're down further. Hang right down here. How may I serve you, mistress? Damn it. Apparently they're on the other side of this rubble. I can see them right there. Based on the look of him, I'd say he's dead. Well, how dead would you say he is? Cadaverific. I just gotta find the damn stairwell. Oh, here we go. Can we actually listen to the hollow tapes? Summary of Paladin methods and Lander, you are to survey the ruins at coordinates, blah blah, search the components we need and retrieve what you can. It's secondary objective compile list additional items and set for future retrieval, McNamara. All right, well, let's get out of here. Fortunately, those two were dead. I'm guessing that these robots killed them. No valid Repcon identification badge detected. Please vacate the premises. You know what? Fuck you. Anymore, you bastards want to tangle? Or tango? Takes two to tango. Well, you killed fiends. Alright, so I'll gu I guess I'll give you guys a pass. Or the remaining ones of you a pass. Uh, no, never mind. In fact, let's see if you can fly, robot man. Oh, what do you know? You can. Ah! 
Anyways, well, that business is done. Looks like she's about to dive into a pool. Oh well. We avenge their deaths, kind of. 